What's up, y'all? Back at it once again. This is a cold skill fun day. You know what I'm saying? Dropping this knowledge for you and for yours. And um, this one right here just came out, you know, for 2009. But things might have changed. You'll see. And uh, this is NBC News. And African has the world's greatest genetic variations. This is from the Associate Press. Washington. Africans have more genetic variation than anyone else on the earth. According to a new study that helps narrow the location of where humans first evolved, probably near the South African Namibian border. Wow, way over there? Okay. The largest study of the African genetics ever undertaken also found that nearly three-fourths of African Americans can trace their ancestry to West Africa. The new analysis published Thursday in the online editions of the Science Journal. Given the fact that modern humans arose in Africa, they had, at the time, accumulated dramatic changes in their genes, explained lead researcher Sarah Tishoff, a geneticist at the University of Pennsylvania. People have been adapted to the very dispersed environment niches in Africa, she explained in a briefing. Over 10 years, Tishoff and an international team of researchers trekked across Africa, collecting samples and comparing the genes to other various people. Often working in primitive conditions, the researchers sometimes had to resort to using car batteries to, part their, to power their equipment, Tishoff explained. The reason for their work? Very little was known about the genetic variation in Africans. Knowledge that is vital to understanding why some diseases have a greater impact in some groups than others, and designing ways to counter those illnesses. Scott M. Williams of Vanderbilt University Noted that the constructing patterns of these diseases variation can help determine which genes predispose a group to a particular illness. This study provides a crucial centerpiece in the puzzle. He said, for example, there are such clear differences in the prevalence of such diseases such as hypertension and prostate cancer across the populations, Williams said. The human genome describes the complexity of our species, added Masan Ibrahim of the Department of Molecular Biology at the University of Khartoum, Sudan. Now we have a spectacular insight into the old history of the, of the African population, the oldest history of mankind. Everybody's history is part of African history because everybody came out of Africa, Amber Hume said. Christopher is shut, the Department of History at the University of, Los, at the University of California, Los Angeles, compared to the genetic variation among people to the various variation in languages. He estimated 2,000 distinct language groups are in Africa are broken into a few broad categories, often but not always often following the gene flow. Moving a language usually involves the arrival of new people, Ezra noted, bringing along their genes. But sometimes language is brought by a small but advantaged group which can oppose their language without a significant gene flow. Overall, the researchers were able to study and compare the genetics of 121 African groups, 60 non-African populations, and four African-American groups. The so-called cake color population of South Africa has highest levels of mixed ancestry on the globe, a blend of African, European, East Asian, and South Asian, said Tickoff. There is a great population study for a disease that are more common in one group than another, she said. The study also found that 71%, all right, 71% of African Americans can trace their ancestry to West African origins. They also have between 13 and 15% European ancestry and a small amount of other African origins. There was very little evidence of African of American Indian genes among African Americans, Tishoff said. Let me read this paragraph again. The study also found that 71% of African Americans can trace their ancestors to Western African origins. They also have between 13 and 15% European ancestry and a small amount of other African origins. There was very little evidence for American, Native American Indian genes mm -hmm. among the African Americans, mm, Tishoff said. Ecker added that only 20% of the Africans brought to the North America made the trip directly while most of the rest were first to the West Indies. He added, all, some local African populations, such as residents of the Sea Islands off of Georgia and South Carolina, can trace their origins to Pacific regions such as Sierra Leone and Guinea. The study was funded by the National Cancer Institute, the National Health Institute, and Advanced Computer Center for the Research and Education of Vanderbilt University, the LSB Leakey and Weiner Grand Foundation. What the hell? 
and the National Science Foundation and the David Lucille Packard and Broad Welcome Found Welcome Foundation. Wow. And that's the end of the air paragraph right there. I mean, what can you say about that? Look at all these foundations want to know what's up. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get deep. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. We ain't fund this research. You understand? All these foundations, that's crazy. But they got the genetic code. They um guess they found out, you know, some things. But the National Health Institute, you know what I'm saying? The National Cancer Institute. Mm. The Leaky and Rand Grand Foundation. The David and Lucille Packard and Bros. Welcome Foundations. You know, you gotta watch who, you know, the real meaning behind some of this stuff. But this is the meaning they put out here for for right now. You know what I'm saying? So they these foundations got the genetics of 121 African groups, 60 non-African populations, and four African American groups. Hmm. Huh. And the study also found that 71% of African Americans can trace their ancestors to Western African origins. They also have between 13% and 15% of European origins. Right, and very little American Indian genes among the African Americans. So they, according to their study, there is no Native American Aboriginal stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, but also you got to agree with the premise that you know we do have the world's greatest variation of genes. Black people come in many shapes, sizes, different colors, and stuff like that. You know, like a box of chocolates. But, you know, the really disturbing part for me, I mean, besides the article where it put some stuff out there, you know, this come from 2009 from the Associate Press. Um, we got to control stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Genetic flows and stuff. Who got it and who gets it? You know what I mean? You got to be selective who you have, you're having sex with and doing things like that with, you know? Real talk. Because it's just like, damn, they got all this, you know? Mm. Anyway, this is Coach Gear Fun Day. Spitting the real. Much love to you and yours. Peace. Mm-hmm.